So far in this chapter, we have talked about ideal gas and non-ideal gas. You know, the non-ideal gas is what we call the real gas because in real life conditions, not always ideal gas condition. So, let's try one more example and see how that apply. First of all, let's decide if the gas behave as ideal gas in the given condition or not. Okay. Given temperature at 100 degree and pressure is 150 kilopascal, yeah, it's close to 1 atm. And the temperature is 100 degree, obviously it's greater than 100 kelvin. So we can assume the gas un under this condition is ideal gas. And ammonia burn with 20% excess oxygen. Here's the reaction given. It says the single pass conversion of ammonia is 80%, and nitrogen monoxide is separated from ammonia and water, and the unreacted ammonia is recycled back to the reactor, as shown here. Calculate the cubic meter of ammonia every cycle stream per cubic meter of ammonia fat at 100 degree and 150 kilopascal. So far, we are given temperature pressure, but we don't see any mole number for a reactive, uh, for a process with a reaction. It's better to use basis as mole or molar flow rate. So we can go ahead and assume the basis is um, 100 mole, or we can use 1 mole. 1 mole is easier, simple. 1 mole ammonia fat. Then we have said that under the condition given at certain temperature and pressure, the gas behave as ideal gas. Then we can say, write down assumption, that ideal gas law apply. Under the given condition. Okay. Well, the problem given the pressure, remember if we use ideal gas law, we have to make sure that all the value has to be in absolute value. It doesn't say if the pressure is absolute value or not, but because there's no monomer, so we can assume that this pressure given is absolute pressure. Again, whatever you assume, write down in the assumption. Pressure given or absolute pressure. Okay. Now with that information, we can go ahead and solve the problem. Well, because the problem given that single pass conversion of ammonia is 80%. Remember I say that single pass conversion means the conversion around the reactor. So with that information, we know that 80% of ammonia converted at the reactor, which means that 20% of ammonia is non-reactive that is coming out of the reactor. Okay. Once we read the problem statement, we can write down um, to the flow chart. The flow chart already partially given except the variable and what variable is given except you have to write in, in terms of mole using the uh, label variable. So we can go ahead and draw our own flow chart. Separator. Okay, and other separator we have nitrogen monoxide and water. Can water come out from here? And oxygen. And then you say we recycle ammonia to the reactor input. So we build a recycle stream.
can get some ammonia at the condition 150 degrees Celsius. Again, we had to convert that to Kelvin for apply in other gas law. And pressure in the fresh fee, we have fresh fee, we have ammonia and oxygen at the condition 100 degrees Celsius, 150 kilopascal. Okay. Well, remember that when we have a recycled stream that fills with fresh feed, there will be a hidden mixing unit. And then, mixing units mixing with the fresh feed go into the reactor. So in the reactor input, we have ammonia. And we also have oxygen. In the reactor output, because it's a ammonia is 80% conversion rate, which means that's the sound. 20% ammonia is not reactive, so we can write down ammonia. We also have some unburned oxygen because oxygen is in excess. And we have nitrogen monoxide and water coming out of the reactor. Next, we can go ahead to assign the variable to all these species. We have temperature, pressure, we don't need a mole. We don't know the mole, so we need to write down the mole number. And there's no recycle of, of oxygen in the recycle stream. So oxygen remain the same. And ammonia put in three. So other reactor we have unreacted ammonia. Oxygen nitrogen monoxide and water and other separator because separator there's no reaction going on so before and after the reactor the mole number for um, nitrogen monoxide and oxygen and water they are the same oxygen is in 5 and water is in 7 again we don't always have to calculate all the variable for the mole number but just label that so it's easier for you to read. And in the recycle is in four because out of separator. Okay, now we have all the variable label. Next we can go ahead and solve the problem. Well, we can run the degree of freedom. We are looking for um we're looking for the cubic meter for recycle string. So we only have this unknown variable that we need to solve. So we have enough mission to solve. And we can do other gas law both at the fresh feed stream and the reactor input stream and the recycle stream. Okay. But the problem is given that we need to calculate cubic meter of, of ammonia recycle at this condition per cubic meter of, of ammonia fat. Okay. So we are comparing recycle stream with the fresh feed because given per cubic meter of ammonia fat. Now let's go ahead to find out the useful uh, unknown variable first. Because given 80%, oops, sorry, 80%, single pass conversion around reactor. Say conversion rate of ammonia, right? Yep. Add the reactor. And which means that's 20% of ammonia coming out of the reactor. So the reactor input we have in dot three. I mean sorry, in three. And other reactor we have in four and because eighty percent being converted, so twenty percent is non-converted. So twenty percent of input is equal to output of ammonia. This is our first equation. And next we have in the mixing unit, the recycle stream plus the fresh feed is equal to the reactor input. 
So recycle stream ammonia's in four plus the fresh fee of ammonia's in one is equal to in three. Now we have the second equation. And because we have write down the basis is equal to one mole ammonia fat, this is in one. And in one is known one mole. And we can substitute the second equation. Substitute the second equation with the first equation. Then the second equation can be written as N1 plus subject to the N4. Oh, sorry, not this guy. Subject to the N4 right here. N4 is 0.2 N3. So there will be only one variable that is not known. Therefore, N3, because N1 is one more, N3 is equal to 1.25 mole. Okay. Now that we know the N3, N4 is 0.2 N3. Then you get N4 in the recycle stream is 0.25 mole ammonia. Okay. Next, we don't really use the 20% excess oxygen. I guess information given here is let us know that there is oxygen out of the reactor output. So we do have oxygen right here. Okay, now we found the recycled stream and the fresh feed stream of ammonia is given. Well, we assume. Now we can go ahead and solve the problem we using ideal gas law. So comparing fresh fee and the recycle stream, we have in the fresh fee stream using ammonia single species, we have P1, V1 is N1, R, T1. And in the recycle stream, recycle stream Idea gas law also applies, so re recycle stream we use the number 4. So we can write P4, V4 is M4, R, T4. Now we can compare these two. Then we get P1, V1 over P4, V4 is M1. And R can be cancelled out. So N1, T1 over N4, T4. And notice that the pressure is the same. So we can cancel out the pressure. Pressure is being cancelled out. And the problem given that per cubic meter of ammonia fat. So M, which means that V1 is per cubic meter, so one cubic meter. Okay, and M1 we have assumed is one mole, and T1, T4 we already know. We just have to convert them to Kelvin plus 273. Yeah, 423 Kelvin. Three, three. 3773 Kevin. Okay. Alright. Now we are calculate this out. So we only have one variable that's not known. Then we can go ahead and solve for V4. V4 will be equal to M1 T1. In the denominator, we have M4 T4 V1. And substitute the variable with the number that we found out. N4 is 0.25 mole. And the good thing about using this equation is that you don't have to think about the gas constant, which one to use, and the unit. Okay.
and T1 is 373 I'm sorry the T4 T4 is 423 Kelvin and the V1 is 1 kilometer and M1 is 1 mole and T1 is 373 Kelvin then you will get V4 is 0.2835 kilometer here's your final answer